Hey folks, welcome back to Crypto Heartbeat, and this is a special interview. We've got the NFL player, Justice Hill, with us today on Crypto Heartbeat. And what is incredible, not only a hexagon, you've seen him around the community. It's so great to have celebrity folks in the hexagon community, but uh, Justice Hill, um, unbelievable college career with the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Um, he was the fastest and highest jumper in the in the combine, had an incredible rookie season. Um, I mean, it's just amazing. Now with the Baltimore Ravens, I mean, an amazing, uh, amazing player, amazing guy, and somebody's really smart with crypto. And so, folks, it's my pleasure to welcome to Crypto Heartbeat Justice Hill. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Appreciate the introduction, uh, man. Bad. Couldn't ask for anything better than that, man. <laughs> well, maybe a little better. But yeah, you boost okay. me up a little bit, man. Yeah. Well, it's so cool to have you in the community. And I just want to, you know, I'm, I'm from Detroit uh, area. I grew up in southeastern Michigan and I've always, I was always a Lions fan. And of course, mm -hmm. Oklahoma State Cowboy, Barry Sanders. Yeah, Barry man. Sanders. So, you know, obviously Hall of Famer, a um, mm -hmm. couple, couple of Hall of Famers there from mm -hmm. uh, Oklahoma State. What Were you a fan of Barry Sanders back in the day when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Like big time, big time, big time Barry Sanders. Like I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, yeah, yeah. and he's from Kansas. But being from Oklahoma, I've always been like a contrarian guy. So like everybody in Oklahoma loves OU. Yeah. And I always loved Oklahoma State. And then Barry Sanders, obviously, like the biggest figure that come out of Oklahoma State, him oh, and Thurman yeah. Thomas. Yeah, you know, Thermic gold, yeah, gold jacket guys, and so um, oh, yeah. uh, I was able to meet those guys too and talk to those guys. And they're man, they're great people. And then Barry Sanders Jr., his son, actually went to Stanford and then transferred in. So my freshman year, it was his last year there. So we was able to hang out and wow. be real cool. So man, it's, it's meeting those guys and then just yeah. being a part of Oklahoma State. Uh, just it lineage and heritage has been great yeah well you had an amazing career at yeah. oklahoma state and then of course that. i watched the uh i watched all your highlights and then i watched yeah. the combine and yeah. the way those guys talked about you in the combine 4 4 40 <laughs> yeah. the, you know you were the fastest and the highest jumping guy mm -hmm. in running backs which is incredible yeah. <laughs> yeah. man it was crazy because you always dream of like the combine you know everybody watches it and then you go to it and it's like totally different and then yeah. is that piece of segment that everybody sees on TV. Yeah. And then yeah. it's like the last day and you, everybody's tired. Like you, <laughs> I think I ate like three times the entire week, but it's, wow. it's an extremely, extremely rigorous, like a week. Yeah. And then the last day they put you out there and then you got to go run 40 and uh, yeah. <laughs> do all the other stuff. But now it was definitely cool. Cause I always had my like envision running fast time and sure. doing all that stuff too at the combine. And well, yeah, that stuff come true. Yeah. It was cool. That's so great. And my understanding is the Baltimore Ravens uh, was it traded uh, Flacco and mm. got you, right? Yeah. And yeah, it was crazy. That, that's cool. Now, here's what's crazy to me is guys that come in in rookie season generally don't get much playing time. And mm. you, you've you got, what, at least two touchdowns in that rookie yeah. season. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like? Your, 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 your freshman my, year, if you will, rookie season. What man, was that like? Rookie year, man, it was crazy. It just... Like the first couple of games is like that all moment where you go on the field and it's like, yo, am I really playing I'm like Baltimore Ravens, <laughs> yeah. playing against Miami Dolphins, playing against, like, am I really here? And so like the first couple of games, I'm like, I was kind of like struck, like it yeah. just, just like in the living in the moment. And it was just like, wow. But then that stuff kind of slowed down and then I was able to get some play time. It, it's really hard. Like unless you're a first round pick or a second round pick, I know you talked to Keelan. It's really yeah. a different path for a lot oh, of guys. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has a different story. And so just for me being able to make the team and then, I mean, I got drafted in the fourth round and then being able to just be on the 53 and then be in the game plan every single week uh, and like grow that and get my role because that's really the most important thing is like developing who you are and then letting the team know that this is player is going to provide this thing for us, you know? And so yeah. you got to be valuable. And so I was kind of just growing into my role and, you know, time, played out and then towards the end of the year i was able to get some touchdowns yeah. uh you just get opportunities because opportunities don't present themselves often man and whenever they do you know you really got to take advantage of them and so wow the commentators yeah. that yeah. follow you talk about your balance <laughs> how good you are at cutting uh, balance and mm -hmm. and uh you know continuing to get uh yardage and so 
Uh, now, my understanding is your brother is mm -hmm. also a uh, very, very yeah. good athlete as well. Yeah. Man, right from Michigan, is that right? Yeah, he's a he's a Michigan man right now. So, um, he just declared for the draft. He wow. he he was he was in there three years, played three seasons at Michigan with Coach Harbaugh. So, I have wow. the older brother, Coach Harbaugh, yeah. and then he's with the other Harbaugh. And so, <laughs> we'll see. Like he's supposed to be projected first and second round this year. Really? So he's gonna go to the combine, do all that stuff. Hopefully, he runs great times and. Yeah. like puts on the show for himself and hopefully he gets that first round call yeah. Who knows, man? I'm be how crazy it. would it be if not only you guys in the league together but i mean there's a possibility you could end up playing in the same team definitely i, I i'm up there every day still and those guys talk to me every day about him so i'm like hey as long as his locker is on the other side the, the <laughs> locker room don't have it don't have his locker next to me man i'm tired of seeing him <laughs> tired of seeing him that is awesome well that's good yeah. yeah everybody wants to talk about i think it's cool to have family in the yeah. in the league like that and mm -hmm. so um obviously people get really excited in the hex and pulse community when there's you know professional athletes and, and famous people um that are that are you know basically representing um you know crypto and hex and such and i wanted to understand when did you get into all of this and how, what was your intro to crypto in general? So I think my, my intro, honestly, it came back in 2016. We wow. had like, it was like a little seminar. Um, somebody ran out of space and they were talking about Bitcoin and I don't know, for me, it was just simple. It was just like, that it was a technology that not too many people knew about. And I was very interested in it and it made sense to me. And so whenever things make sense to me, I just go into it. And so, I just got into it little by little and then um, just started growing that and then went, switched for Bitcoin, Ethereum. Then I was a big Ethereum guy just because of the utility yeah. and then was collecting Ethereum for a long time. And then this year, uh, probably back in May or June, I got exposed to Hex and and then I started really diving deep into it. And then uh, I forgot what happened. A couple months later, I wound up making a tweet about it because I never really like talking about stuff until I like really know, know yeah. for sure. And so... Uh, I use a system and I realized how great it was. And I'm like, yo, like all this other stuff is trash. Like yeah, yeah. compared to this, like nothing even compares. And so uh, I got deep into to Hex and man, I haven't looked back. That's awesome. What's your impression of, of Richard Hart? What was your first impression? And now, I mean, how's yeah. that changed? I actually, I really, I really like, he's a good dude, you know? And yeah. for me, like being like in the NFL and all that stuff. And you just like hearing people that, talk truth, you know, because there's a lot of fluff that people talk all the time. And so hearing people that talk truth, you know, you like, you feel it, you know, you feel that. And so whenever Richard Hart talks and I watch all the streams, even the past ones, um, you just feel that truth, you know? And so here going forward in the future with all this stuff coming out with Pulse Chain and Pulse Sex and this whole ecosystem, uh, it's just gonna be exciting to see. I'm glad I'm here for the ride. Like I talk to Keelan all the time and, um, <laughs> We always talk about man what if he just found hex like two years early because at the time yeah. like in december of whenever it launched or january of 2019 to 2020 like that transition when hex first started like we were actually living together like we had a place oh, okay. we had a place out there in, in california and we were staying out there and i was big into ethereum at that time and so i was just like yo get this and keelan was like man i i ain't trying to get that bro like I, I, I. <laughs> so he just didn't understand it then yeah but that was my big thing and I'm like, man, if we all would have got back onto it back then, uh, I'm like, man, where would we be at yeah. now? But, you know, it's the same opportunity right now. And so. Yeah, yeah well, and that's the incredible part about this is that, you know, it's very rare that a founder, you know, creates an entire ecosystem and gives you chance after chance after mm -hmm. chance to make ridiculous money. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you this. So obviously living with Keelan, that's how he, you know, I talked to him and mm -hmm. he mentioned you're the reason he got in. Yeah. Do you have other players who are like seeing you as the guy to go to for, yeah. for crypto info? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I talk to at least like three or four guys every week and we on the phone and I show them and they, like, there's a lot of guys that's in the heck, like in the NFL that you just don't know about because they're not tweeted yeah. about it, but they're definitely exposed to it and they are like, Especially I tweet it and then it just word of mouth, like word of mouth spread so fast. Cause like, I wouldn't have never thought like me telling Keelan would have moved to this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. <laughs> and then like 20 other guys, it's like, yo, it's a whole, it just spreads fast. You know, it spreads like a wildfire. And so That's yeah, funny. NFL guys definitely love it too. Cause they have the funds and they're looking for passive incomes too, you know? And so, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It, well, definitely. 
and you're what 24 years old is that right yeah yeah i just I mean, turned 24 it's yeah. so incredible to me you've got you know you've got this option at this time and you're coming into your career right i mean this mm-hmm. is, it's just beginning right. and the idea that you've got you know what pulse sacrifice pulse x you've mm-hmm. got and then of course all these other projects that are going to come on the pulse chain that we're going to yeah. be able to vet and see um it's so neat to me because it's like every kid you know my son he's so excited about nfl football right he's he's dressing up he's got all the pads on he's watching tv we're throwing Mm -hmm. the football and literally you know in his mind that is it Mm -hmm. and here what's really cool is you're preparing for the future yeah and you know even beyond even beyond an athletic career i think that's really awesome man because that's not always the way it is. <laughs> it's not. And it's not. And you see the stories and you learn from them. You learn from mistakes and you make it the tweak to your life, you know? And so being in this stuff, especially the crypto space, has been a great opportunity for me because it leave, it relieves so much pressure from playing football, you know? It's like, I love it and all that stuff, but a lot of things are outside of your control in yeah. that aspect. And so whenever you can go out there and just kind of play for fun and just like not worry about, oh, I got it. I got to do this because I got to make this money. I got to do this because I can pay these bills and do all that stuff. It's like it relieves so much pressure. So it's like when you play and you just play for fun, you know, it yeah. relieves that. Now, do you find, I think it's really interesting, you know, with uh, with technology, a lot of the older guys will look to the younger guys because they're like, hey, you understand this tech stuff. Do you find yourself kind of mentoring some of the older guys mm-hmm. as well in the league? Uh, honestly, like I haven't, the older guys, like when you think of older guys in the NFL, they're like 30. So it's not, they're not that old true. in the grand scheme of things. And so true, true. they kind of understand it. Yeah, and they, they, okay. they are exposed to like other stuff. Like they, a lot of people are like XRP, you know, everybody, all the media stuff, all the stuff that's trendy on, yeah. on media. So a lot of those guys are into those things. And then you show them a little something on the side, like, oh, let me show you this hex stuff. Like, okay. let me just show you. And then it's crazy because you would pull up like hex calc. Or like stay cakes not today. Yeah. Those tools are like crazy good because you just yep. show them that and they understand it. And then it's like nothing else you need to really do at that point. That's Once right. you make a stake, yeah. people are in it, you know. And so yeah. Well, you know, we've got obviously, you know, pulse sacrifice obviously is over, but we we're in the yeah. midst of I think Pulse X reached a billion dollars yeah. in sacrifice. That's wild. That's are wild. yeah, are you excited <laughs> about <Man>. uh, change? <laughs> I'm excited, man. I'm ex- really excited. Like, I didn't even think Pulse X would be as big right. as Pulse Chain, but it's obviously <laughs> bigger. Yeah. And it just gave a lot of opp- opportunity for people that miss Pulse Chain because a lot of people wasn't in this, not in the space, but people didn't know about it. And it was a smaller window, but the market now, a lot of people know it. And so when it releases, it's going to be a wildfire. Even the people that know about it and don't really believe it or don't un- understand it when they're late. Whenever they release and then they can go over there and play with the things that they already own, it's yeah. going to be a no brainer for them to use Pulse Chain Network or over Ethereum Network. And then yeah. when it comes to Pulse X, like the whole game theory behind it that Richard put out on that stream uh, with all the buy and burns and all that yeah. stuff is just going to be, it's just opportunity after opportunity after it opportunity, is. man. It's kind of like unreal. And I was talking to a guy yesterday and I was, he was asking me about like the cons of, of hex and pulse and all this stuff and i was like yo like i'm not i don't like to sound like the guy that sound like i don't like the sound like it's too good to be true you know yeah but yeah. it really is almost like that. it is yeah mm-hmm. well and it's it doesn't happen i mean this this hasn't happened in our lifetime before where something this you know substantial changes so dramatically and so yeah. what's encouraging to me and a, a huge bullish sign is um you know i thought pulse was as good as it was going to get right here's this new layer one blockchain 670 million is sacrificed and how bullish is it that pulse x comes along and pulse hasn't even launched and there's a billion dollars in like seven eight days it's it's a that's that encourages me it gives me a lot of confidence yeah when you see that there's funds there and like people believe in it and not just you yeah yeah gives you so much confidence yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to. Uh, we don't have to hope on our JPEGs, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> well, this is awesome. Well, I wanted to. I wanted to talk to you about really your future, and you know, it's so cool to see. Um, you know, follow your career, and I mean, you're on a heck of a team, and you're getting healthy. Tell us about the update on that, and and what's uh, what's in store for you here uh, this coming season, and and all of that. Yeah. So um, so, yeah, I'm getting a little echo. Okay. Um, hold on. This is not Ragster, it's just a stream, by the way. 
<laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why where this came from but all right um so this season i tore my achilles right before like a week before the first game and like i was down for a little bit just like a day or two but you know it, it happens in this in this this game like you sign up for it and so um i, I tore my achilles and it's like a six to nine month recovery and so i'm little over for almost close to five months into it now and so uh, i'm starting to run around get back to it and, and get back in shape so next season i'll be 100 percent fine get back into it and so uh plans for next year is just to go out and do what i always do you know and just like, go out there perform uh, have fun with it and and to score touchdowns i mean that's what we started doing when i was a kid it just just love scoring touchdowns and so i want to continue that and so Nothing's changing on my end. I just want to get healthy, stay healthy, and and play games. So, well, you're on a great team, that's for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, let's talk about your, you know, your future and stuff like that. I mm-hmm. um, I know that a lot of professional athletes um find themselves in situations where they're helping kids. They've got a passion, right? Mm-hmm. They end up doing foundation type work and those things. What, where's your passion, and what where, mm-hmm. what what really is yeah. uh. Where do you like to to put your time and effort and energy? So for me, I, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I don't know if you heard, um, but it, at one point in time, they had 1921. It was like the most prominent black community. It's called Black Wall Street. Yep. And so I went actually went to school right basically on Black Wall Street. And so for me, I always wanted to build like community, build just – help people to build and develop, you know? Yeah, and so yeah. for me, I think economics is the main thing for that, because if you don't have that, you can't really build. Yeah. And so in the future, I'm still trying to nitpick, decide, cause I never wanted to rush into anything, start something, start a foundation, this and that. Like I still have to really mold that, but um, I definitely want to build something to where I'm giving back and helping people develop as, as men, as women, as a community, yeah. And building businesses and building things that people can grow, you know, and yeah. and they can grow organically and they can use community. And that's why I love Hex, because it's really all of that stuff embodied yeah. and on the blockchain. But I want to do that in real life as well. And mm-hmm. I just don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but yeah. I will in the future. And, you know, having Hex and being in NFL and stuff like it gives you that time to like really develop those things. And so that's what I've been doing these last couple of months being injured is kind of just start developing those things and getting things in place for when the, whenever the opportunity does come. And so yeah. that's what I plan to do in the future. Okay. Well, I, I think it's a really powerful idea. This mm-hmm. idea of black wall street, the idea of economics and you know, the fact that you're, I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion you're going to do very well in crypto. <laughs> and, you know, I think it's really neat. I, there's so many people in the Hex and Pulse community that are going to do extremely well. No, definitely. And I think, you know, as you, as you develop, I want to encourage you is what I'm, mm-hmm. what I'm saying is as you develop your vision for, let's say it is Black Wall Street and this idea, of what could you do back in your community to help mm-hmm. build businesses, incubate businesses, encourage people, invest, all that kind of stuff. I think that there's a lot of people who would be very interested in supporting that Mm -hmm. and being a part of this community. And, you know, as you develop your vision, whatever it may be, I hope that you'll Mm -hmm. share it back with the Hex and Pulse community because, you know, people want to be part of things that make a difference. Mm -hmm. And I I just want to, I really want to encourage you because I think there's a lot of people who would want to support what you're, you're talking about. And, Mm -hmm. and I just want to encourage you to do that because um, that's what we need. We need vision, man. Mm -hmm. We need people who want to, um, want to create the future. And of course, we've got a great visionary mm-hmm. leader, Richard Hart. Yeah, um, he's leading the way for us. But um, I'm just excited because I feel like this entire financial system's changing and we're going to mm-hmm. have resources where we've never had them before. And, you know, I, I come from the fundraising world in the nonprofit space. And one of the things that a mentor said to me, he says, if you can dream it, we can fund it. Mm-hmm. The problem is most people don't dream big enough. Yeah. because vision raises the big dollars. No. And so I think I just want to, I want to challenge you to dream as big <laughs> as you possibly can, because that money will meet it. And I oh, think, yeah. you know, it would be so great to have that kind of legacy of building value 
and giving people dignity because to me that's the key in all this it's not about a handout it's about a hand up and mm -hmm. i love what you're talking about so i right. appreciate that i don't want to really put appreciate. words in your mouth but i i just i'm excited for you and i just mm -hmm. think that we're going to be a community that helps each other mm -hmm. i've already seen it so much within the the pulse and hex and pulse x community and all that mm -hmm. stuff so well this has really been awesome i really appreciate it are you um <laughs> You know, when you when you think about uh, a career, you know, I think a lot of professional athletes kind of take it day by day. Right. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, there's a I, I assume if your brother comes in first or second round. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a possibility that we could be hearing about you and your brother in the league. Is there a chance that you guys could be on the same team? It, everything is in the air. You never know because yeah. yeah. you never know. It, is wild how the whole process goes. But if he does, that would be so crazy. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. We only had the opportunity to play together my senior year of high school and his freshman year of high school. Wow. And it was a crazy year. I mean, we didn't make it to the championship, but like we were, we should have made it to the championship. Yeah. But <laughs> um, hopefully we get a repeat and can go win the Super Bowl. You know, that would be even better. So. I think it's cool that you guys are on both sides of the ball rather than competing. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. I mean? we're not in the same position. We totally yeah. different positions. So like he used to always try to tackle me and then I always try to make a miss, you know, so yeah. <laughs> it helped uh, both of us out. You know? It probably did actually. It's probably why he's so yeah. good too, is you exactly. running away from him. Well, I, I really appreciate it. Is there anything that you're working on that you want to promote to the, the mm -hmm. Hex and Pulse community? Is there anything yeah. that you care about that you want to direct to your Twitter, whatever yeah. it may be? Yeah, I mean, I'm not working on anything at the moment that's uh, public, but um, I mean, if you just guys follow me on Twitter, I mean, I mean, I put out some some tweets every now and then. I mean, I really don't use social media too much, but I've been pretty active on on Twitter since I've been in Hex, you know. So yeah. uh, if you just follow me there, J Hill, uh, just type my name in, Justice Hill, got checked. So you you, you know it's me, but. Yeah, that's it, man. That's all. That's, I awesome. have. that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to share with our community. It's great to have someone representing, um, you know, not only the NFL and professional athletics, mm -hmm. but also being so kind with your time. Mm -hmm. I know you're at the Hex Conference and, you know, doing these interviews. Um, I really appreciate it. It's very gracious yeah. of you. Oh, yeah, you. man. You. Hey, I love it, man. It's, it's fun for me. So uh, whenever people that want to do anything, just hit me up and, and we can hop on. So awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right. You take care. All right. You have a good one too. You too, man. Thanks. Yeah, it was good talking to you.